So what I'll do is I'll go to functions and we're going to create another function and this function will be called write to pins or we could call it write to devices alright write to devices and now that we have a function called write to devices I'll go back to functions and there it is that's the call to call the function and I'll put that right in here right there so read from sensor write to devices and now what I'm gonna say is is if that output from digital read slot zero if motion right if motion which is set to whatever the slot zero is on our digital reading of slot zero and motion goes to 1023 like we could see here right, we saw it right here where the variable motion right turned to 1023 down here in the output window so what we'll do is we'll say if that happens then we'll write to the pins okay so we need an if so I'll go to logic and we're going to need an if do else if do this else do that okay so if an if statement and I'll go to logic again and say if this equals 1023 so maybe I'll copy this and put that in here and change that to 1023 so if and I'll need motion I'll copy that the variable copy paste if the variable motion equals 1023 I'll copy this copy paste control C control V print I'll delete that print we just need some text here there we go that's what I want nope not this whole thing just this piece print hi otherwise print low we'll see if that works we can run it you can see low there alt hold down the alt key go over here there's high right and and we should see low okay so um, and there's low so I'll stop the program and now we're going to write to the other slots if it's high and if it's low we'll write to the other slots as well so what we're gonna do is we'll go to our pin access and we're gonna use the custom writes so there's a custom write custom write to slot one a value copy paste of a two okay and then we'll just copy this and paste it and then on slot two which goes to the copy maker right we will write a one and I'll explain why I'm using a two and a one in a minute so but this will slot one and slot two and you'll see that right here D1 that's slot 1 it's going to the lamp slot 2 goes to the coffee maker so we write a value of 2 to the lamp and a value of 1 to the coffee maker and once again I'll explain that in a second alright else and we'll just copy that again and paste it else we write a 0 and copy this and that'll turn it off okay 
So there is our finished program. Now, once again, how did I know to write a 2 and a 1? Well, I knew that 1023 goes in the output because we printed the variable motion when we had a digital read of slot 0. And slot 0 is, of course, D0 here connected to the motion sensor. And I saw that it jumped to 1023, so I put that in there. If motion equals 1023, we print the text high to the output window down here below, right? And we could see that here it came out. There was high right here. And then what we do is, um, so anyway, the 2 and the 1 here, how did I know how to set the 2 and the 1? Well, these devices, these devices, if you click on the device, have instructions right on the device here and it says a lamp can be turned on or off and tells you how to directly con control it alt click it and then you can see it has off is a zero one is dim and two is on so if we set it to two it'll be on all the way if we set it to one it'll just be like a small light so it has th uh, three steps off dim and on and on is a two and then the coffee maker is also a custom um, is also a custom device uh, appliance device instrument and you can see here in the input slot zero is off one is on so that's what I did also I want to point out that each of these IOT devices the coffee maker um, the lamp and even this motion sensor they each have their own programming their their own firmware if you will to see it, what you have to do is click on Advanced, and then if you go to Programming, you'll see that, and then select the program, double-click on it, and then double-click on this program. You can see this is the programming for the motion sensor, and you can see that it needs to be running if you're going to work with it. And you can see that if it says Stop here, that means, you know, Stop, it's not running. And then Run, it's running. So it's running by default, but this is the programming of the device. Right? This is its script, if you will. So each device has some firmware with a script or a program. And that needs to be running. See the, the lamp also, if I click Advanced, Advanced, and go to Programming, you can see it has its own program, and it's running. All right, and so does the coffee maker. So now if I Alt, pass over the motion sensor, it should work. Oh, but first I need to run the program. Run. Okay, there it goes. And now if I Alt, pass over, the light turns on, and notice the coffee maker, the little red light, right? And if we give it a, a second here, it should turn off. And it turns off. 